so uh, from Mackenzie Gunafin Festival, which I think you've been here uh, all three years now. So what are you looking forward to doing that you haven't done the past two years? Uh, something to watch, something to do? No, honestly, I'm just looking forward to watching more movies than the ones I've seen last year. I, uh, I'm going to try to organize myself much better uh, so I can attend workshops and movies. That's ma mainly what I want to do. Um, I don't know what they have up their sleeve this year, but I look forward to this festival every year and all the surprises that they keep throwing at us. So, we'll see. Um, honestly, I'm always looking forward to watch new films, new documentaries, new films by local, like by local uh, directors or actors and actresses, and especially the ones that come from abroad to showcase their uh, films here. So I'm always keen on watching those films and I'm very excited. I feel that the event is that the event is I'm watching movies actually, it's the only thing I love about festivals, like the thing I love the most and meeting people from different backgrounds, but for me like it's, about, it's all about the movies. I'm looking forward to watching the amazing selection of uh, films, I'm looking forward to meeting uh, the, all the great filmmakers that are going to be here, uh, I'm sure I'm going to learn so much from them, so I'm super, super excited. I mean, Guna has, has got this great atmosphere on the coast, you know, in the Red Sea and, and um, and it has the character of El Guna, which I love very much. And, um, and at the same time, it's a very young and, and free festival because it's, um, you know, it's managed by young people. It's, it's kind of outside the system and, um, and landed in a very big way as, as, as a you know, big festival from the start, even though it only shows 80 films, but it's not about the number of films. It's more about the impact the festival has. Well, in my case, I am looking forward to less than the last couple of years because it's been really hectic to pull it off um, and I'm very happy that now we have a team that we can depend on. Uh, the festival is on automatic mode now. Uh, this year there is a huge collaboration with uh, UNICEF and uh, Guna Film Festival and this is where I'm actually uh, going to be presenting in the gala dinner for the UNICEF and Guna Film Festival. I think it's, um, it's amazing for this collaboration to finally happen because Guna Film Festival is always cinema for humanity. This is my first time at the Guna Film Festival. I'm super excited because I had FOMO the last two years. I couldn't come so I was dying to like see what it's all about. And I'm just really excited to, to, to see how it, how it goes and how it goes down and everything. Uh, it's fun for me tonight because I'm not hosting this year, so I, you know, I'm seeing um, uh, my lovely colleague uh, Nardine, my lovely colleague Subhi, all, uh, all us uh, NBC stars uh, uh, getting together. It's really nice, it's, it's convivial and I'm going to enjoy myself. The red carpet is a big deal, just seeing all the fashion, I think it's up the game of red carpet dressing for Arab celebrities, everybody really goes all out, everybody makes an effort. I think it's the most glamorous uh, event of the year in Egypt now, so that's a pretty big feat for a new festival that's only been three years.